Hello, and welcome to New to Null, the channel that helps you transition from high sec or low sec into a life in null sec. You will have gained a lot of bad habits in high sec and low sec that simply do not translate well into null sec. And the purpose of these videos is to help you make that transition so that you lose fewer ships, you make fewer mistakes, and you understand what everyone else in Null is talking about when they use some sometimes rather arcane terms. So with that said, let's get started. In this video, I'm going to focus on just navigation. We're going to take a look at a number of things uh, with navigation. First, we're going to learn how to set up the, the navigation tabs for your scanner. This makes it easy to separate out the uh, things you're not interested in, depending on your current task, from what's actually important to you. And we'll see that in just a minute. We'll also talk about autopilot, uh, misconceptions about it, when to use it, and how to use it properly in Null. Uh, and you do not fly on autopilot in Null, so long and short of it, but I'll get into more detail on that. And then finally, we'll touch on manual navigation. Manual navigation is something you've probably never had to use in uh, high sec or low sec, but it is something that is very often useful uh, in null sec, especially if you're flying a covert op ship or you are trying to escape from a bubble camp. Anyway, with that said, let's get started. Okay, another little trick you can use, not really a trick, but it's a feature of the game that isn't always obvious. If you want to go to some place like to this planet here, you don't always get, want to go right on top of it. So instead of saying, oh, just click and warp, which will warp you to a distance of zero at the center, long click on it, and then set the distance you want to come in at. So this will set me up at 71k out from that planet. Warp drive act. Okay. Really the thing I want to start with on navigation is what I consider to be the very basics, and that is setting your navigation filters up here. So by default, you start with one filter which doesn't filter anything. It shows you everything there is to see uh, in the system. And this is okay for some things, but more often than not, you're going to want to have customized views so that you're not wasting your time looking through a million different things. This is especially important in uh, large PvP operations where you really don't want your uh, scanner here cluttered up with all of your allied ships. So the first one we're going to do is we're going to create a new filter and I'm going to call it Travel. And this is the filter that I use when I'm doing trade in high sec. And I'll use it sometimes in, uh, in low and null sec too. So, ships, I don't want to see any ships. I'm navigating, I'm traveling, I'm not looking for any particular type of ship. Turns out ship is something you rarely want to use anyway. Structure, yeah, I want to see stations, citadels, and stargates. I don't really care about warp gates. Uh, those are more for PvP. Celestial bodies, I don't care about suns, planets, asteroids, any of that. Signal, once again, asteroid belts, cosmic uh, anomalies, don't care about those. If we do Pv, uh, PvE, you will care about cosmic anomalies. And if you do PvP, you may care about asteroid belts because that's where you're going to find your miners. Others, uh, wrecks, we don't care about this when we're traveling, if, but I do create sometimes a loot filter where I can go in and then I could just identify all the wrecks. Okay, same thing for cargo containers, they're handy. Now something you're gonna wanna do on every single filter you create. You wanna check hostile and neutral. Especially in null, you're gonna have enemies and they're not always marked as hostile. Sometimes you just got random neutrals coming through trying to gank folks. When you turn these on, any enemies will automatically come up in the filter and you'll know that you need to be careful. 
So with that, we say save tag. And now we have a travel tag. So we can close this up. We can go to all, select travel, and only the things that we're interested in will show up. So another common one that I use is going to be one here let's do PVE so when we're out ratting what do I care about seeing then well once again I don't care about ships uh, for structures I will care about warp gates celestial bodies eh, don't really care signals um, yeah I want to see cosmic anomalies for sure don't care about wrecks or cargo containers as much. Although it's up to you. If you want to put them in there, it makes it easier to loot. That's fine. It could get a little noisy in large battles, but it's up to you. And then standing, of course, always hostile and neutral. Save tag. All right. Another thing I do quite often is mining. So we're going to create a new tag here for mining. Mining, what do you want to see? Well, you may well want to see your station. Okay, especially if you need to get the hell out of Dodge real quick. Um, you don't care about Stargates or any of those things. You don't care about most of these celestial bodies. You might want to do Asteroid. Um, it gets kind of noisy that way too. Normally, I just go for the signal and say Asteroid Belt. And that's all I care about. Others... Eh, you know, some guys jettison cargo. You may want to see cargo containers. Um, but once again, standing, hostile and neutral for sure. Save tag. And that's how you create your custom tags that will make your life in Nullsec a heck of a lot easier. You can customize a large number of these things. Have them very focused. Because when it's hitting the fan, the last thing you want to be doing is wading through tons of entries on your scanner here. Okay, so you're going to be in the field on a roam or something like that, and your fleet commander is going to say, set your uh, navigation target to, and he's going to call out uh, a system. Okay, so I'm in high set currently, but same principle here. When he does this, you want to click up here, on whatever your current location is. So I'm on Tash Mercon Prime. And let's say I want to go to Alicara. Click search. It's a bit of a bother, but Alicara. And then we'll say, then you pick wherever that destination is. Usually it's just a system, but in this particular case, I'm doing a, a, a time test. So I'll pick that. We'll say set as destination. And now it goes into my autopilot. And I can see exactly what I'm going to pass through to get there. So I'm going to get out of here and we are going to be in our timed test for a manual flight to Alicara. <clears throat> also, when you're on fleet ops, very often Warp drive active. you're going to hear the fleet commander say jump to not warp to okay or he may say warp to the gate but don't jump and that, then you just select warp very important because he's trying to keep the fleet on one side of the gate because he's tip his hand that there's a fleet coming um, also used so they can check the other side of the gate make sure it's not camp especially if you're running some valuable items uh, through these gates so jump to and warp to Jump, you go through. Warp, you just go to the gate. So I'm going to be selecting jump through on most of these uh, because we're doing the time test. So 
Okay, so looking at the times to do 11 jumps in this particular boat on autopilot was 13 minutes 30 seconds, on manual flight was 13 minutes 17 seconds. So that's an improvement of 2%. So the argument that flying manually is faster is true, but it's negligible at the same time. The real reason you don't want to travel on autopilot and null is you're going to hit a bubble camp or you're going to hit a gate camp, even if they don't have bubbles, which is very rare these days. They all have bubbles. And if you're AFK flying, you're going to be dead before you know it. You're going to wake up in a capsule or worse, they're going to, they're going to pod you. Um, so you don't want to do it because of that. But you can see how you can chart a course and then use autopilot to your advantage, even though you are flying manually. Okay, I'm going to wrap this video up talking about manually piloting your craft. When you're in high sec and even most of low sec, you really don't have to worry about how to do that. When you get to null sec, you need to know how to do it. So let's go over what it is and how to do it. Fortunately, it's very simple. jump through a gate here to simulate how and why you normally need to do this. Um, I'm in high sec, but this definitely applies to no Warp sec. Warp drive active. Um, on the other side of this gate, we're going to pretend that there's a gate camp with interdiction modules and warp jammers and all that sort of good stuff. If you find yourself in a warp bubble, remember the first thing is you are already have a mini cloak, right? They can't really see you. What you're going to need to do is find the shortest way out, and that is I'm going to zoom out as much as possible so you can get a feeling for how big that sphere is and where you are in the sphere, and then you're going to set your course for the shortest exit point. So, and to do that, you double click. And then when you double click, you want to hit an afterburner or micro warp drive to get the hell out of Dodge as soon as possible. And obviously, if you are in a stealth ship, you want to hit the afterburner or micro warp drive and then immediately hit your cloak. Alright, but that is how you manually navigate. All right, thanks for watching. Hope you uh, like and subscribe to the uh, videos. I've got more coming, uh, and it's all gonna be content focused on getting you up to speed for your life in NullSec. So fly safe.